Oh, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, this time uh, I will quickly actually wanted to make some other video, but I saw MSI Afterburner got updated and uh, they now have uh, RTSS inside their uh, monitoring. So as you can see now it's reporting the volts, temperature, core clock and memory clock speeds and uh, of course usage. So now we actually don't need hv info to display watts and other stuff in here so that's a good thing but uh, there's one thing we are missing i know they said that uh, it's currently uh, i think uh, architecture problem how uh, intel overclocks the graphic card so there's no oc feature in here and uh, we are also missing as you can see on my asrock a380 we don't have custom fan control speed so yeah you still need to do the hack that i made the video about which i will link down in the description if you still haven't uh, seen it and uh, yeah it's good now that we actually have uh, everything in one package well almost everything uh, because uh, sometimes i started to record the video and i totally forgot to turn on hv info to also display uh, watts and voltage and everything else up in the RTSS overlay and uh, now actually we can even put uh, volts and wattage with uh, MSI afterburner which before on some graphic cards I always had to actually download HV info to display the wattage I'm not sure why but uh, it seems the function now is there uh, and uh, yeah I was recording this with AV1 on uh, A380, so uh, we don't get the same performance like we tested uh, yesterday in Returnal when we undervolted the graphic card to 30 watts. But uh, yeah, let's quickly go down here and uh, enable uh, watts and voltage so we can see what kind of uh, watts we are getting now that we are not uh, underclocked, so uh, I mean undervolted. And as you can see, it now works just fine. In the top left corner, we now have wattage and uh, volts. So yeah, it's uh, really good, really good. Except the slideshow of Returnal, which runs at 1440p max settings and uh, recording alongside. Uh, <laughs> it's not really a good idea on this card if you are playing and recording. But uh, for a recording only, I'm actually really impressed with the card because uh, the file size was really low, the quality as you can see it's amazing except the stutters and stuff that's uh, <laughs> it's game performance problem not the recording so uh, yeah uh, AV1 recording now it's uh, kind of worth uh, doing and uh, it's really good I used uh, Streamlabs OBS because they support two variations of AV1 recordings. I will actually make a test video on both and see if there's any difference but uh, yeah maybe now you don't need a streaming uh, card like Elgato 4K60 which I have because you can actually just buy an A380 for cheaper and uh, record plus stream on a second PC and should be a good experience maybe i will actually do a live stream of a770 uh, which will be uh, using av1 uh, streaming and uh, recording while i will be streaming so i can maybe make a video afterwards but uh, yeah we'll see uh, as you can see here we will switch quickly to 1080p if we get any performance boost but uh, i think the recording plus gameplay is uh, really uh, demanding one intel a380 so uh, yeah grab yourself the latest msi afterburner 4.6.5 version and uh, now you can safely monitor with one program all the stuff you need so uh, yeah thank god they still update my, my msi afterburner and uh, giving some love to intel graphic card we were waiting for quite some time to get the support so uh, yeah Fan control is next and OC and then we are good to go guys.